Aloha folks and welcome once again to another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. Well, I'm here in Waikiki again and uh, this time around we're going to be having a look at a Pabst brand that just happens to be Hawaii's original beer. It's a Primo which comes in at 4.6% ABV and uh, yeah, as you can see, it uh, comes in a 24 ounce can and uh, they've been brewing it here since uh, 1897. Now, uh, I got this just down the road for a very reasonable price. I think it was just a little over $2 and um, yeah, I'm most keen to uh, get into this because um, yeah, I've been on a uh, tour around the island today and uh, it's about uh, what 6.30 at night here now and uh, I'm yet to have a beer, so uh, you can just imagine how I feel. All right, let's uh, crack it open and uh, I'll pour it out into this uh, Miller Lite glass. All right, looking forward to this. All right, so um, yeah, a nice pour there. Yeah, have a look at that, folks. Yeah, it's very uh, effervescent, uh, as you would expect from a lager. Um, yeah, it's a uh, clear, golden colour too. Yeah, quite clear actually. Yeah, no real chill haze or anything like that happening. Uh, it's got a nice uh, frothy white head, lots of uh, nice tightly packed bubbles. About two fingers of uh, head there in fact. Alright, so uh, let's move on to the aroma. Okay. Picking up uh, yeah, a bit of a uh, bit of a yeasty sort of a smell. A little bit of sweet malt. Maybe a hint of grass. Yeah. All right. So uh, it smells like you know your uh, typical um, lager beer. In fact. All right. So we've talked about the uh, appearance and the aroma. So that could only mean that it's time for the most important part of the review: the taste test. So cheers to you all, folks. Let's dive into this one. Mm. Mm. All right, well, it has a nice sort of a hot bite to it. Um, definitely getting, you know, some subtle sweet malts up front. Um, goes down really smooth. Uh, body somewhere between light and uh, medium um, yeah but um, it's got a very uh, inoffensive flavor and uh, yeah I must have another goal well um, yeah this is uh, really hitting the spot as you could imagine so uh, what would I say in terms of its drinkability well very drinkable you can certainly uh, session a lot of this um, yeah I mean uh, in an environment such as this where it's hot and humid yeah um, yeah it's uh, yeah, a real treat yeah all right so um, <clears throat> In terms of the price point, well, as I mentioned in my intro, um, this 24 ounce can of it was, uh, yeah, only a little over $2, in fact. Um, I haven't seen uh, any, you know, cases of it, but I imagine, yeah, um, it would be very reasonable to be in the States where uh, beer is, like, very cheap. Okay, so um, I think it's time I wrap this up. So let me have one last gulp and give it a score. A ten. Mm. Okay, well all in all, a very tasty, inoffensive lager that hits the spot on a summer's day. Uh, yeah, quite a good example of this style. Uh, in terms of a score out of ten, I think it's a solid eight. So, uh, there you go folks, an 8 out of 10 for Primo. So if you ever are in Hawaii, check it out. <laughs> Alright, well uh, thanks for joining me. Hopefully I'll be back again real soon with uh, another review uh, for you all from Waikiki. 
But until then, fare thee well, all.